So hello and welcome to Jones's vlog, the second one I have recorded. Already getting some fantastic views and feedback from people on Twitter on the introductory one I did earlier. That's fantastic guys, thank you so much. If you can keep retweeting it and sharing it with people, we can try and get as many views as we can, start getting people to subscribe, start getting the ball rolling, make it bigger and better, get people debating, and we can really make this something fantastic hopefully. So the first main topic I am going to talk about involves the game earlier between Chelsea and uh, Leeds United's dear lovely neighbours from across the Pennines Man United where once again which we're seeing a lot lately the headlines are being stolen by the referee in this instance Mark Clattenburg now we look at the first uh, incident where the uh, sending off of uh, Ivanovic for his challenge on Ashley Young I don't actually blame Clattenburg for giving the red card here. I don't agree with the red card, but that's the law of the game. I think he had to give the red card. So it's the actual laws that I have the problem with there. Uh, Ivanovic was the last man. There was very, very minimal contact made with Ashley Young. I don't believe Ashley Young needed to go down there. He could have gone on. He could have taken the ball. He could have scored a perfectly good goal. I believe he's gone down to get the red card for Ivanovic, which... It doesn't surprise us with Ashley Young. We know his Tom Daly diving impression from last season. So we know uh, that he's capable of doing things like this. But again, you know, I don't blame Clattenburg for, for giving that red card. That's absolutely fine. No problem. However, the problem begins when he, he set the president there by giving that foul. To go to the other end of the pitch, where Johnny Evans comes in on Fernando Torres two-footed, He's not the last man, fair enough, but he's coming on in on Torres two-footed. He's made contact. It's minimal contact, but it was minimal contact between Ivanovic and Ashley Young. It doesn't matter how Torres has gone down. It doesn't matter at all. The contact's been made. The foul has to be given. So for Clattenburg not even to give the foul, and to then book Torres for diving, which he knew would get him sent off, is just absolutely absurd and ludicrous to me and just sums up the consistency of referees in well not just the premiership in all all leagues of football these days and it's really starting to to get me worried especially when people are calling Mark Clattenburg one of our best referees because he's on FIFA's list and UEFA's list well if he's one of our best referees then god help us because it really worries me if he's top of our game um, so yeah, it's the consistency, and we see it week in, week out on Twitter, uh, people having a go at referees, and it's the fact that one week a decision can be made on a foul where a red card's given, an exact same foul in a similar situation the week after, no card is given. A handball is given one week, exact same circumstances next week, the handball isn't given. And it's this, it's creating confusion in the game, players don't know what's going on, managers don't know what's going on, and clearly the referees don't seem to know what's going on and something really needs to be done and maybe Mike Riley the head of referees who uh, I haven't actually heard since he became head of referees it would be nice every now and again if he came out and uh, maybe said a few words and uh, backed, backed his referees up and maybe explained some of the laws of the game it would be nice uh, likewise one of the things I'd love to see happen and I want to get people's views on this as well is referees to come out after games and explain their decisions um, explain why they've given red cards or not given red cards why they've given a penalty or not given a penalty it would be fantastic to see from their point of view why they've given it and I'm sure a lot of people and a lot of fans would maybe respect them a lot more from, from that um, and likewise if they've made the wrong decision and, and seen that after the game to come out and apologise um, not just go and apologise privately to, to people come out publicly and apologise you know it, it people spend good money to go watch decent football games and so often they get ruined by poor poor decisions from referees they need to come out and apologize to the fans as well because they can ruin perfectly good foot you know decent football games um, so yes I think things really need to be done uh, consistency wise with referees I'm not gonna bash them because they have a, they do have a hard job you know I wouldn't be a referee if, if you paid me thousands and thousands of pounds I wouldn't do it I'm pretty sure people at home wouldn't do it as well um, but something needs to change because I'm getting confused with decisions managers and players are so uh, something really needs to be done um, and of course we can't talk about referees and Man United in the same breath without bringing up the old uh, 
you know, referees favouring Manchester United debate. Um, people are going to say as a Leeds fan, I'm obviously going to be biased in this, but I think as a football fan in general, the stats and the facts are there to see that referees do seem to favour Man United. I'm not going to go into every microscopic detail and probably Man United fans will come on here and say, oh, what about this and what about that? Well, I'm just looking at what I've seen and what I can remember. We look at John Joe Shelby earlier this season, getting the red card, Liverpool against Man United. Yes, it, it, it probably could have been a red card, but if he's getting a red card, Johnny Evans should be getting a red card. Because for me, he was more dangerous in that tackle. He was more likely to break someone's leg in the way he went into that challenge. So he should have got a red card for that, but he didn't He didn't get anything for that. We look at Vincent Company getting sent off in the big game last season in the FA Cup between between the two Manchester sides. There was no way in hell that was that was a sending off, yet somehow the referee decided to give it there. We look at the amount of dives they get away with. I've already said Ashley Young last season getting away with it. This season, Danny Welbeck uh, winning a penalty against uh, Wigan, I believe. Um, and we look at the penalty decisions not given uh, for sides against Manchester United that just change games. So, people can come on here and say, what about this, what about that? But you look at the, the facts, in big games, referees seem to favour Man United. It's just the way it is, um, and it needs to change. Um, and we see managers come out and criticising it. You know, it's no coincidence. Martin Yall of Fulham said last year that that managers seem to get um, that uh, sorry Manchester United seem to get all the uh, uh, decisions, especially at Old Trafford. We've seen it this season. Roberto Martinez has come out and said the exact same thing. He's actually been given a fine for for saying that, and that's another thing. Managers should not get fined for giving their opinions on what's just happened to their team on the football pitch what's happened to freedom of speech if they believe they've been uh, done badly in the game they should be able to come out and criticise the referee never mind giving the get, bringing the game into disrepute if you don't believe in a decision that's been made then you should come out and be, be able to say things like that um, and that's what I want people to comment on in the comment box or on Twitter Chris Jones LUFC um, tell me what you think on everything I've just said you know, should should managers get fined for for the uh, comments they make after matches? Do you think Manchester United get all the decisions from referees? And your thoughts on referees and their consistency? Uh, should do things need to be done? Do they need to come out and explain things more? Does Mike Riley need to do something? Do the FA need to start changing laws? The FIFA need to start changing laws? I want I want your views. Um, so that's all for this evening. I'll probably do another vlog tomorrow. Don't know what it will be on. Um, might be in response to what people have, have thought to this one. Um, so yes, I will bid you all good night, and I will speak to you tomorrow.